Good evening and welcome to Millis Community Media's coverage of Mohawk Athletics. From the campus of Millis High School, we give you the Millis Boys varsity basketball team as they play host to the Dover Sherbourne Raiders. Alongside a socially distant Larry Co, I'm Doug Coots, and we are high above the courtside here at the Andy Marriott Gymnasium. Just underway here. It was a senior evening. We, we honored seniors Brian Kane and Cole Sullivan. They are joined on the floor by Matthew Fiala, Andrew Hatch, and Jack Catalano as the starters for this game tonight. This is week three of the five week COVID season. Nice Friday evening, and Cole Sullivan starts off the scoring with a bucket off the elbow. And the Mohawks take a 2 0 lead. Mohawks in their home white kits going left to right on your media device. With Dover Sherburne in the blue and blue going right to left. We appreciate all those who made this happen, especially those making sure we're sanitized and socially distant here. If you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, go ahead and Give us a like and smash the subscribe button. That would be appreciated. We are just underway up in the rafters here, up on the scaffolding. Socially distant setting here, happy to be playing. Good help by Kane there. Sullivan able to steal the ball. And we have a whistle. Our first foul of the game. Ben Teach commit, committing the foul. Teach Evan Scary, Lou Rinaldi, Tim Dillon, and Nick Rinaldi, the five on the floor for the visitors right now. Ala in the lane, met by several. A little bit of a hop step. Two nothing our score, Mohawks on top. Fiala with some good help there. Ball is spilled. Mohawks can't get a handle to it. It ends up rolling out of bounds. So no offensive inbounds from the baseline. So we'll go to the sideline. Alex Joseph into the game for your Mohawks. Taking Andrew Hatch. Two minutes gone. Two points scored. Defense in this half court set by the Mohawks. Good help by Fialas that's out of bounds off the Raiders. Joseph to inbound. Fiala to Sullivan quickly over the midcourt stripe. Joseph spots up with a Screen in front, back iron no, but Kane the rebound. Fiala will try his luck. That shot is blocked. Foot race down the other end. Fiala pressuring. It does not go. Kane tries to get it to go. Can't get the runner. Oh, certainly some steps there as well. If no box out there. Rinaldi converts. Nodding this affair at two. Joseph. Catalano down the lane. He's met by Dylan. Dylan committing the foul. Second on the Raiders. I'll send Catalano to the line for two. Uh, 
Catalano, an empty trip. Dylan left up top, open at the top of the key, and he knocks down a three-pointer. Raiders up 5-2. Joseph. Swings around to Catalano, he's harassed. Sullivan all the way around. His long three-pointer is back iron and no. Raiders in transition. Foul charge to Jack Catalano. That's a long continuation there, so we'll count the basket. So Teach given the basket there. And the free throw. So officials setting the bar very loosely on uh, the continuation. Hopefully it gets on both sides. Ben Shittick and J Zach Spellman check in for the visitors. Checks into the game for Brian Kane. 340 left in the first. Eight to two. Mohawks got the first bucket. Three from the corner. Lou Rinaldi knocks it back. Coots with the drive. So the Mohawks are getting to the hoop here. Foul on Spellman. First free throw is good, so the Mohawks break an 11-0 run there. And the second is true. 11 to four is this is the differential right now. Well, it's still in Coots to Sullivan ahead of the pack. The left-handed layup won't go, falling to the ground. Charge a foul to Sullivan there. Carlson Cantoreggi is into the game for your Mohawks. 2.59 showing on the clock here. Good help defense there, forced a bad shot. Joseph Catalano in the corner, tries to find Cantoreggi. Knock back to Joseph who will step back for the three, it won't go. And a streaking Nick Rinaldi converts at the other end, got a piece of Sullivan in the face. So timeout to check on Sullivan as he absorbs some contact in the face there without a whistle. We go to timeout, 219 to go, 13 to 4 our score. So first buzzer out of a Mohawk timeout. Coots, Joseph, Sullivan, Catalano, and Cantoreggi are five on the floor right now. 2.19 to go. Mohawks find themselves down by nine. Everyone, 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 
Sullivan oh. double teamed. Joseph in the corner. Just won't go. Tanner Reggie the rebound. Carlson, Tanner Reggie on the elbow. Coots gets around his man, looking for a cutter. Plenty of time, 11 on the shot clock. Catalano from three, back iron no. Ball can't be secured, so Raiders come the other way. Three pointer, back iron no. Joseph got to it. Knocked out of bound by Dover Sherborn. Adam Hart and Charlie Lindbergh into the game for your Mohawks. And Alano able to get it over, feeds it into Kenna Reggie. Miss much. Fifty one point four. Coots able to get it over, ridden the whole way, gets by to the baskets, aboard some contact. No foul, but the basket is good. So Coots converts. Oh, you... Ball is stolen. Quickly out to. Coots up top, finding. Finding Lindbergh in the corner, and his three pointer is good. Mohawks to nine. Foul, ch foul charge to Catalano. That's his second. Pull up three pointer, no good. Rebound, good if it goes, it doesn't go. So we'll reach the end of one. So at the end of the first quarter, 13 to nine Mohawks. So players on the court for the second quarter. Nick Quinzani, Matthew Fiala, Anthony Coots, Cole Sullivan, and Adam Hart, the five on the floor for your Mohawks. An exciting first quarter. That saw the Mohawks score the last five points to, to bring us to a 13 to nine gap for the Raiders. Turn over to Millis. Fiala at the foul line. Tested three, no good. Raiders are just killing Millis on the, on the boards at the offensive and defensive end. That ball thrown away though. We remain at 13 to nine.
him to the elbow. His shot is just no good. Dish. It's no good. Falling to the ground and somehow absorbing some contact and in the act of shooting. BDL foul charge to Anthony Coots, his first team fourth. No foul call there. Can't get a foul there, but we'll have a foul there. Foul charged to Sullivan. That's his second. Might have missed the first foul there. Seems to be a bit of a disparity here. Well challenged by Coots to get a piece of that. Whistles held silent that time. Mohawks just can't get any shots off this quarter. Kenna Reggie into the game. Six twelve to go. Three pointer is no good. Sullivan. So Rinaldi, the first points of the quarter. Another giveaway. And another open three in the corner. This time, no good. So with 5.40 to go, a timeout on the floor. Raiders 15, Mohawks 9. And players coming out to the floor after a timeout. Coots Hart, Quinzani, Kenna Reggie, and Sullivan, the five on the floor. 537 and counting now. It's pushed out of bounds. Oh, def definite disparity in, uh, in whistles one end to the other. And finally, finally a foul. Finally. Teach called for his second foul. Brian Kane into the game for your Mohawks. Fourth foul called against the Raiders. Coots inbounds to Kane, Sullivan. And off to Hart, comes around the pick, and the three-pointer from the top of the key is good. Adam Hart's on the board. Mohawks have their first points of the quarter. Turnover. Andrew Hatch into the ball game. Have it to within five. Sullivan around. He's engulfed. Oh, 
So Rinaldi just enjoying free reign down the court again. Another layup. Mohawks have made the Raiders work in the half court. Just not going to get that call down this end of the floor this half. So Rinaldi from the outside this time. He has 13. 21 for the Raiders. Two players tangled up. Let's see what comes out of this. Wow, they're going to call a double foul there. That's four on Sullivan. Just run out of words. My mom always said, got nothing good to say, just say nothing at all. As Larry's frantically waving at me to say something, my mic still works. and Canta Reggie working together. Canta Reggie pushed off the blocks. His fade away, no good. Hatch battling for the rebound, gets it. Takes some contact, no foul call there. And we go the other way. Ben Chittick for three. Coots being ridden the whole way. Hatch will score. Canna Reggie, a nice box out. So maybe that'll put an end to the... Uh... The underneath. Mafial and Alex Joseph into the game. Foul on Nick Rinaldi, his first. 2.30 to go. Boots to Joseph. Tries to get it to Fiala on the block. A few dribbles, pass out. Catal Catalano with the three-pointer. So the Mohawks with life, never say die. Timeout on the floor, 2.14 to go, 27-17. So coming out of a timeout, Catalano, Coots, Fiala, Joseph, and Kane, the five on the floor. Mohawks got it to 10. Rinaldi hasn't missed much. His second three-pointer. He's got 16. Coots driving. No continuation on that one. Tim Dillon and Daniel Sullivan into the game. Lou Rinaldi committing the foul. We saw a continuation down this other side of the, of the court. Coots battling for it, gets it. And it goes and he's fouled. Good, good rebound. Fouled by Daniel Sullivan. 
And the bucket is good, hooping the harm. The free throw is good. Traditional three point play. Mohawks back to within. Not sure what the confusion was there. Just a simple foul call. Raiders a little touchy, apparently. But no tacticals that time. <laughs> BDL. Jack Hallard into the game for your Mohawks. Well, no need to add anything. No need to add anything to that, I guess. When you're right, you're right. I don't know if the mic could pick that up. It's turning into a blue blood game for sure. with that foul. It's a 19 foul, so double bonus the rest of the way. We are under a minute. Ah, it's another giveaway. The Mohawks not doing themselves any favors. Zamati committing a foul there. Alex Joseph into the game. Well, we know they can point in that direction at least. the second on Daniel Sullivan, ninth team foul, one and one. Just won't go, Mohawks calling on the defense one more time. Three second differential shot and game clock here. Sherborn has an issue with the referees tonight. They can wait in line. They've been the beneficiary of most of uh, the whistles so far. So we've reached halftime. Our score from Millis, Dover Sherborn 30, Millis 20. And we welcome you back to Millis Community Media's coverage of Mohawk Athletics. Alongside a socially distant Larry Cohen, Doug Coots, we are high above the court side at the Andy Merrick Gymnasium. Second half about to begin. Players coming out on the court. Dylan Teach, Rinaldi, Rinaldi, 
and Brian Olson for the visitors. An exciting first half. Mohawks trailing for most of the way, able to close it to within 10, down by as many as 15. It is 30 to 20 right now. And we are underway. I'm quickly trying to tabulate some numbers here. Anthony Coots leading the Mohawks with seven. And a turnover and three-point opportunity right off the bat here. Catalano charged with his third. So Evan Scary with the basket. Lou Rinaldi with 16 for the visitors. Nick Rinaldi with four and Ben Teach with three. So the Mohawks off the bat, two turnovers. Gotta keep this close. Close, Cole Sullivan, four fouls. And Teach and Daniel Sullivan with two for the visitors. Knocked away by the Raiders and out of bounds. Catalano, Coots, Fiala, Kane, and Hart. You're five on the floor right now. 732, just underway, second half. Catalano cross court. Hart to Coots. A lot of hands in there. sure how that's a foul. Fiala backed off. Well, again, it's not much more I can add to that. Cole Sullivan will check back in. Rinaldi gets one. 34 20. And the Raiders have pretty much had free reign on physicality so far. is able to get that to go. Fiala securing the rebound there, quickly up to Catalano. the dish from Sullivan. Just two minutes into this third quarter. Five turnovers for the Mohawks. So timeout on the floor, 5.24 to go, 38.20.
So from a Mohawk timeout, Catalano, Fiala, Canareggi, Joseph, and Sullivan, the five on the floor, 524 to go. Raiders enjoying an eight point burst this quarter. Canareggi to Joseph in the corner, shot is blocked. Ben Shittikin for the visitors. Back the other way, just about to the midway point of a four in, four to go. Four ten to go to be precise. Catalano turns the corner, nice take. So the Mohawks are on the board in the third. going to have a whistle there. I think we've lost the plot here. So the officials taking care of Cole Sullivan's night. say to that. BDL. Andrew Hatch into the game for your Mohawks. So Olsen sinks the second. Christmas miracle, Larry. Foul on Spellman, his second. Into Carlson, who's being pushed off the block. Hatch. Plenty of time, 18 on the shot clock. Catalano with the shot, and it's good. He has. Seven. Coots charged with that foul. Interesting. 
Bernardi gets the second to go. Joseph, top of the key, jumper front, I am no, Coots the rebound. Hands all over him to the hoop. Better late than never. Chittick committing the foul. Get the second. Raiders another offensive rebound. Shot no go. Foul charge to Joseph. Are we on twenty six? Got one of those foul shots, no? Bucket is good. Trying to squeeze another point out here. I don't know. I know the contested shot is good. Charlie Lindbergh is in the game. He fights for the rebound. Dylan connects for three from the corner. Calling it a two. Catalano again. to go in the third. Lindbergh's runner doesn't go. 44 seconds to go. Nick Rinaldi into the game for the visitors. Jack Halloran in for your Mohawks. Reggie sends that one back. Shot clock is off here, 14. Catalano's had the hot hand. Can't get that to go. So we've come to the end of three. Our score is Raiders 50, Mohawks 29. Hey, in the fourth quarter, just underway here. 
Catalano, Lindbergh, Quinzani, Fiala, and Haller in the five on the court right now for your Mohawks. Fiala securing the rebound, slashed at, is able to hold on to it. Ball is not going to get there. Mohawks with six turnovers, four right away in that quarter. 16 for the game. Missing only eight for the Raiders. Mohawks with only nine points that quarter. The third quarter blues. Scary with the three. Mohawks keeping my turnover column very active. Securing the rebound up to Catalano. Mohawks looking to run. And Catalano buries it. 53-31. Good block by Quinzani. Let's see what we have here. I'm sure we can guess. Must be a foul on White. And it is. This one charged to Halloran. It's just raining down here. Boy, seventh foul on one side, only two on the other. That one charged to Fiala. Sinks both those charity throws. Fiala inside. He scores. A lot of contact there. I mean, it's the disparity is, is something to behold tonight. Time out on the floor, 5.32 to go, 57.33. Quinzani, Catalano, Lindbergh, Fiala, and Haller in your five as we have five and a half to go here. Lindbergh. Halloran, Halloran got bumped. Giveaway for the it's 
It's in my blind spot, so I can neither confirm nor deny what happened down there that time, Larry. <laughs> Gets a chuckle from our camera person, Adam. All right. Can't get it to go. Five to go here. Fiala, quick move. Collins and Marty called for a foul. Third deep foul. Sending Fiala to the line for two, knocks home the first. Kane Coots into the game for the Mohawks. Fiala makes good on both. Gets Andy Hatch into the game. and put back by Lynch. Ramadi committing another foul that is called. Just, just the fourth team foul called. Coots on the block. Finally starting to get a little fairness here. <laughs> Daniel Sullivan into the game for the visitors. 3.51 to go. Good pass. <laughs> Spellman and Olsen in for the Raiders. Not Kane is knocked out of bounds. Ball is stolen. Catalano ahead of the pack, and he'll convert.
241 to go. Steal from Hart there. So Amadi is getting his money's worth here. That's his fourth foul called on him. Nick Quinzani into the game. So Brian Kane checks out. He and seniors Cole Sullivan honored earlier. Like their night is done with 2.14 to go. Charlie Lindbergh into the ball game. Supposed to be six feet on the inbounds. I'll have to check my roster, Larry, to see if LeBron got in the game. That was a lot of steps there. Just an epitome of the way this game has been officiated. In any case, Imadi, a nice bucket. Along the magic carpet. Hatch with a nice play to save that. Just 25, just trying to get to the end here. Quinzani with the bucket. That'll be three seconds, and it is. You get one once in a while. Under a minute to go on this Friday night at the Merrick. Lindbergh getting out of that double team. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Quinzani, baseline, finds Coots and with a kiss. Off the glass, it's good. So Coots from Quinzani could do it. Shot clock is off here. So the Raiders can. Final buzzer here, where we thank you for watching Millis Community Media's coverage of Mohawk Athletics. Where the Raiders have defeated the Mohawks by a score of 65 to 43. Alongside a socially distant Larry Coe, I'm Doug Coots. Thank you and good night.